This is a brief introduction and tutorial about moving objects with the mouse. I put this together because I've seen Game Maker games where people were m could move objects with the mouse and if they move the mouse around quickly sometimes the object wouldn't stick to the mouse correctly and would be dropped off and I've also seen problems where if they're two of the same type of model and someone picks up a mouse and drags it over the top of a, s a similar m object that both objects would stick to the mouse and overlap each other creating a problem so I made this program to overcome those problems you can test it out when you download the file you'll notice that yeah, things stick perfectly fine and you can move things around at your will if objects of the same type overlap each other it doesn't create any problems so I'm going to briefly go through the objects and the lines of code I have in those and then you can download the file and take a closer look for yourself. Checkmate. These graphics are from the free pack on the Ruencia site and there's actually a whole chess set there and you can make games and distribute them as you will with those free packs. One important thing that I do when I make an object follow the mouse, such as this mouse arrow, you'll notice that I don't have the center point directly in the middle. I have it near the fingertips because I want the program to pick up the objects near the fingertips and not near the hand, middle of the hand, or the middle of this bone here. And then the object that actually picks up the pieces is called pickup finger. It's just this really small piece of the finger that I I graphic that I made and then the chessboard is just acting as the background if we look at the mouse arrow right here the only coding it has it when it's created it also creates an instance of this pickup finger and then the mouse is told to jump to a given position that being wherever the mouse is and that is attained by doing mouse underscore X and mouse underscore Y. That's much different if you wanted this to follow another object in the game. Say, I'll give an example here, pickup finger. My pickup finger model is told to follow something also. And I have that following the mouse arrow. So I put mouse arrow dot X, mouse arrow dot Y, and it'll follow the mouse arrow wherever it is on screen. I also have it invisible so you don't see that. For my pieces all the codes are exactly the same so we'll only take a look at one of these. My white king. First of all I want to set a variable that tells whether it's moving or not because I don't want to be moving one object and have another object start moving because it thinks I'm picking it up. So I create a variable called moving and I put it to zero let's say when moving is to zero that means it's not moving when moving is to one that means it's moving let's go in the step event if moving is one see then I have the white king jump to wherever the pickup finger is on screen which we know is connected to the mouse pick up finger dot x pick up finger dot y let's look at the collision here if the white king is colliding with the pickup finger then we got this is the hardest part we gotta make sure none of the other pieces are moving and this overcomes the problem of the graphics overlapping each other and not knowing if I'm pushing the button to pick them up or not so I create these these uh, variables here if black spawn these are the names of all my pieces if black spawn if black bishop if black rook if white king and white pawn dot moving is equal to zero so if if I these if these are not moving and the distance of the king to the pickup finger is smaller than one actually I have just noticed something I don't need this because I already have this collision right here if mouse check button and if I press the mouse then set the variable moving to one and therefore it is moving and I give the same line of code to each object and I have this the, the last thing I have here is if the left button is released and moving is equal to one then set moving to zero and that's it 
Download the file and take a look. I'm sure you'll figure it out.